Right, how are we all doing? Um, I know I said I was going to do possibly a precursor to next week's video, but I instead decided to do what I said I was going to do a few weeks ago. And that was have a bit better luck at one of these. Uh, you may remember we had a go with one on a plough. Uh, this is actually a different tractor. This is not a demo. This is a customer's own tractor. It's, although same, it's different. That was a one G one one, a G one two five. This is a G one three five. So next model up. Like I said, customer's own. We'll have a bit of a closer look around it. A bit of a sort of thoughts and opinions on it. And we've also got some pimping to do to it. So we'll start having a look around the back of it while uh, I can finish taking off the straw shopper. Uh, put that up somewhere safe. Come up. So yeah, back ends. Um, Lift capacity, I'll put that sort of there somewhere. Uh, three hydraulic surfaces, I'll try and find out the flow and put that there as well. Uh, Cat 3 lower links, Cat 3 top link, all look pretty sort of, you know, they're. they're they're pretty sturdy looking arms, all the linkage looks pretty solid. Bosch has always been a bugger at not being able to lift the PTO guard up. It's one thing I have always had a bit, a bit against them. Um, hydraulic push out hitch. We've got um, coil over type cab suspension. Blue with the sway links down in there, stop it going side to side. So it's all, everything's there in front of you. Little LED light up there, standard equipment to light up the hitch. So them, them lift arms, um, actually lift arms look quite beefy. So I mean all together, you know, back end she looks a proper tractor. There's nothing there that I look at and think, uh, maybe top link brackets maybe. maybe could do with being beefier if it was being picky but on the whole back end of it solid proper looking tractor side arm what are we on uh, 600 I think no 546 5 38 rears complete with the wheel weights 440 65 28 front proper size size wheels on it 38 8 inch rears 28 inch fronts I mean, they do look a sweet looking tractor. Um, I've come out here without any respects. What the engine is will be up there now, hopefully. So the light bar up there, that's not part of the standard equipment. That is what we started on the... Uh, Pimp my tractor went quite well actually because um, this one hasn't, despite having the loader, quite weirdly, it hasn't got the high level um, headlights. But the plugs up in the top of the clap, the top of the cab, so I've literally just pinned it into the uh, into the high beam. Works a treat. Oy. Inside the cab. It's pretty ringy to be fair. I've got plenty of room in here. Lack of a passenger seat's a bit of a, a shame. But yeah, it looks a comfy, roomy sort of cab. We're just taking for a little drive now around onto the front yard, ready to get the work done. I uh, thought this would be an ideal one to show. Steering lock, she, she steers far more than you need. 
very good steering lock on it, making it a great little loader tractor, a great eight year little round the yard tractor. Um, I don't know if I didn't pick that up. Front suspension really does sit, does look like it works. I mean, this is, I know this is very rough around here, and yeah, that, that suspension is just soaking it up just nicely. Yeah, it feels comfy. I, yeah. Plenty of room out the front, plenty of room down the look, down the look of the loader. You've got great view out the sides as well for working in the tight spaces. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> as you can probably tell, I'm quite quite impressed with this little tractor. I I do think Volks have got this pretty good. Clean steering lock. That's that's quite an impressive steering lock, to be fair. She would turn herself into the wall. So, we're... Uh, we're done with it. It's all... Uh, we've been through it, pimped it all up, uh, just thought we'll take it back round out the way now and uh, have a bit of a bit of a go through it um, show you what we've done to it a bit of a final thoughts on it good points, bad points um, yeah is it a tractor worth having? right so we will start with the pimping the, uh, the little personal touches is if the lad wanted to do to make it sort of his tractor. So, uprated stereo with Bluetooth. Fair enough. I understand that. Mood lighting. <laughs> I, I'm not so sure about this. It's even got a remote where we can put it to music if it'll I think it's actually coming along to the the soundtrack of this tractor ah. young lads Gotta have a knob and a number plate. Right. Flashy beacon. Seat cover. And of course, what every young lad these days seems to want a light bar. Wired into the high beam, so I pity any poor person that refuses to uh, drop off high beam. Or any poor soul that he meets that he knows and um, wants to flash and say hello to. So, thoughts on this thing? Well... First thoughts, you think it's quite a basic tractor. You've actually got all the quick start guide here. But um, when you get into this, it's actually quite a spec tractor, to be fair. Um, I mean, like I was going through it, was just having a quick flick on it. Um, for example, your gear gearbox. It's not just a, that's what you've got. You can alter the change up, change down, auto modes. Um, comes with a hill start. So basically foot and brake, put it into forwards and it won't actually move off until you, you give it a few revs. So yeah, here we go. Power shift Re revolution hill holds, which is a standard feature. Stop the tractor by pressing the brakes, keep the brakes depressed, put the shuttle lever first into park and then 
into the direction, either forward or reverse. Release the brakes, tractor stays stationary, even with a load or a trailer. Makes it make a hill start by simply pressing the accelerator pedal. You've got all your cruise controls, two, two, two cruise controls that you can and set up for say like edge cutting and flail mowing for, for example. There's a lot. What have I got in here with me now? Oh, Bumblebee. Ow, oh, Mr. Bumblebee. Come on. All right. Yeah, you won't find much nectar in here, man. Now, your PTO switch, your PTO speeds. Electronic selectable, three speed PTO, 540, 540E, and 1000. Um, you can set all your different, um, what same, uh, how hard you want it to set off, when you want it to come in, come out. It's very, very spectracted to be fair. You know, auto PTOs, auto diff lock, uh, auto diffs, auto four wheel drive. We saw it on the previous um, video. With that plow on, no weights on the front. Handle that very, very well considering the conditions were crap. Let's be honest. So many thoughts on this tractor. Well, it's not the tractor to hook up to a heavy cultivator or 16 ton trailer, stuff like that. You know, that's not what it was designed for. It's That's what the N and the T E series are for. This is like what this guy's bought it for it's a backup to the telehandler because it is so maneuverable and so well balanced it handles a 3000 gallon single axle slurry tanker it'll cope with the topping you quite happy go and sit sit on a 10 foot mower won't handle two well maybe a small two but it's that good all round farmer's machine which in this day and age of bigger is better this is the one for the farmer and it's actually it's actually not a bad looking tractor to be fair it's got a bit of a bit of a look to it. I, I think it's i think it's actually nicer looking than the current t series Nice little toolbox there. Yeah, it's only a little tractor, so I mean, handy sort of size. Looks like there's a. Nope, that's how you get into there. I'm assuming that's all your battery and all that, but I don't know how to get into Ah, there we go. See so what we've got down here. Yeah, that's battery compartment, just a bit of space there in the corner for something. So yeah, that's it, it chaps. Ooh, don't know what I'm doing now. That is the current uh, new generation G series from Vulture. I think it's a very good tractor. We'll have to see on, on in terms of long term reliability, but I'm, I think she she's built right. Should be certainly be a very good tractor for those people that just don't quite don't need an end series. It's too bit of a big of a clumsy lump. So anyway, that's it. We've had a bit of a look round of it. We've pimped it. Still not sure about them LED lights in the cab. <laughs> oh, never mind. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this bit of a look round and this uh, new generation of tractor. Bumblebee seem to love it. Tie them into there so much. <laughs> so, yeah, new G series Vulture as approved by Bumblebees. Thank you very much for watching. 
and we'll see you next week.